It's me, your boy Toronto Keem, and I am back with another video. And as you can see from the title, we are doing a another day in the life of a customer success manager. As you saw, I was basically making my protein for the morning. I just got home from the gym. Excuse me, I haven't showered yet. I have some fires I need to put out really really fast but I know I just had to I just I just had to get this squared away first I don't know why I put granola in my yoga bowl this morning because I got my braces tight yesterday and my mouth is like on fire it hurts so bad um, but anyway but welcome back to my channel if you're new here I am John Keen we talk about Everything from multiple streams of income, entrepreneurship, we talk about um, customer success. As you all know, I'm a customer success manager for my full-time job, my corporate job. Outside of that, other streams of income involves uh, social media, brand deals, YouTube, of course. I get paid from Google Ads in, so when you guys watch these ads, make sure you watch those ads if it pertains to you, interact with those, because I do get an extra little... Um, if you do anything with those ads that come up in my videos. Um, but for the most part, that's why you don't see as many ads in my videos. Because like I said, I, I know how it is when I used to have just the regular basic YouTube. How too many ads can be annoying. So that's why I don't put that many in my videos. So like I said, that's why I try to put them in the beginning, in the middle, and two towards the end. So definitely help your boy out. Because, you know, we we making it work. But outside of that, I also do, I mean, Amazon associate so basically i'm part of the amazon influencer program two different type of programs you have amazon associate then the amazon influencer the associate one is the links that i push to get commission the influencer one is basically amazon pushes the videos for me to get commission so two different programs so that's going really really well definitely disregard my background i am working i have to get move that stuff move that bed it's an old bed it broke i have to move that out so i just put it in my office for the time being and as you can see probably can't see but that's my 2024 goals list so first goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube we are 500 away so 500 more subscribers I will meet my first goal of the year with 10,000 subscribers on YouTube 20,000 followers on TikTok I just reached 16,000 so we are 4,000 away um 30k in my high yield savings account because um, I am going to try to buy a house next year. Um, so I don't want to take out my business, but that's on track. And um, I want to hit a 3k month in my Amazon influencer program. Um, and I and I come closer. I want to hit 3k a month. So basically, a lot of influencers that I follow on the Amazon influencer, like you go on YouTube, type of Amazon influencers, so many of them. But some of them, they're making like three to 5000 a month, but they have like over, you know, 500 product reviews. I think right now I'm up to 180. So my next goal is try to get 200 reviews done by the end of the year because I have ordered more stuff off Amazon because I just came back from Europe. So I need to do a review on the charger that, that I use when I went to Europe because, you know, they have different outlets than we do here in the States. And then my last goal was to read uh, 15 books. So I may go over and give y'all a little skim because, like I said, I got this off a YouTuber. Not um, this guy I follow on Instagram. He does it every year, and I was like, "Oh, that's a pretty neat idea." So I just went in, got his template, and I've been using it ever since. So I'll give y'all a closer look at it. Actually, these are my goals. I want to 10k, 20,000 followers, 30k in my higher savings towards down payment on the house because I uh, do want to try to use um, any type of government assistance or down payment assistance if I can. <laughs> 30k uh 3000 came on amazon and like i said to read 15 books so far this year i'm um, i've only read three so i'm um, um um but yeah so like i was saying um today's a busy day i do have a lot of work i need to um i do have a lot of work i need to get done um yeah today's just gonna be one of those days so i'm not too finished 
go through my inboxes now just to see if there are any action items um, that I need to complete. So I have this guy who um, we have like that. He's not my assistant, but his role was account specialist. So basically, if I needed file or I needed data uh, for one of my accounts or um, like I said, I need any type of sheets that I need to present on my calls. He was like, he's like the go-to person that we would go to. So basically he was like, if I need that, I can do it myself, but I just, I'm just so busy during the day that that's what he's there for. So I guess he, I mean, I don't want to call him like my assistant, but he's like, he was the account specialist that are, that was assigned to me and two other, um, CSMs on my team because we work with the, we were with a big bank channel. So he was assigned to us to help us out with these ads. And his last ad was yesterday. So when I tell you, he was the best. Like, anytime I asked for stuff, like, I would expect, like, you know, a 24-hour, two-day turnaround time. A lot of times, he was giving me stuff end of day. Like, I would ask for something. I was like, take your time, no rush. I know if I'm asking on a Monday, so I don't need this a Thursday. He'll have to be my end of day Monday. So I'm definitely going to miss him because he, he was the best, the bomb.com. And he showed me so much stuff. But other programs and other metrics and reports that we have that I can pull to show um, on my calls um, to show like, you know, how my book of business is doing versus how, you know, um, the onboarding process, how that went from them going from implementation to me. And then so, so, so much. Worse. I'm definitely going to miss him. But actually, my manager just pinged me. Hey, Jerron, do you need me on the blank call? Do you have campaign stats? Wait a minute. Um, so yeah, so I need to pull stats because I do have a call at one. I know our Power BI was, our Power BI was it? Yeah, our Power BI, we're going through like an upgrade right now with our Power BI. Um, so a lot of the stats that I need to present on my calls versus like, you know, um, revenue to date, you know, um, their clients we bought on board to date. And then, um, yeah, and like I said, the ramp up they've been since they came on board with our, with my company. So those are like some of the more more important stats I typically show on my calls. Um, they're not available right now, so I'm going to have to like wing it. Uh, my manager, he's just saying, yeah, they may be slightly off, but still present them. Um, then, then we can show maybe spin and transactions from the P. PBR report, pay versus report report. Okay, cool. Um, okay, that sounds good. So yeah, so I'm gonna work on that. Like I said, um, a lot of you guys ask me what are some what are some of like the skills that you need when looking at any type of customer success jobs. Um, I would say for the most part, um, CRMs. Like I said, we use Salesforce at my company. Um, Salesforce. Like I said, I use Salesforce at this company and my previous company. So I would say Salesforce is one. Um, far as reporting, we use Power BI. Um, these are things you can actually look up on YouTube. Um, look up like how to navigate through Salesforce, how to navigate through Power BI. Like I said, there are a ton of free resources I try and always harp on you guys can use. And then um, PowerPoint. Like I said, you don't have to be an expert in PowerPoint because like I said, with me, with what I show, a lot of times it's just me um, using the snap tool to, I can snap the data I need in Power BI and I just copy and paste it into my PowerPoint. And then of course I'll make notes at the bottom, you know, in PowerPoint there's a section where you can make notes. So typically I'll make notes there so when I am presenting, sharing my screen, you know, I can see the notes but um, my uh, clients can't. So a lot of times that's what I'm reading from to like, get my point across or relay the data um, to my customers. I'm just reading off my notes for the most part. Um, so yeah, so we got, I gotta work on stuff saying um all the time. So we have, I have a one o'clock, I have a one thirty meeting. I have a 2.30 call, that's an escalation. Then I have a three, then I have a 3.30, then I have a four o'clock. So like my afternoon from one to four is jam packed. So I'm about to probably give you guys like some montage cause I gotta like, work on these um powerpoints and just go through notes from my last meeting just to make sure that what we discussed in our last meeting got resolved got resolved in this meeting going forward and then also put out any fires put out any fires that we maybe have them but yeah definitely definitely don't forget to like share subscribe i'm about to like get 
get to working really fast, eat my yogurt. I'll probably, typically me, I just play something on YouTube in the background. So, of course, I'm not going to show that because I don't want to get demonetized. But, um, yeah, so we'll be back. I may show y'all some snippets. Just may, I'll just make sure the data is redacted of, like, you know, kind of the setup of my calls. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be back. But, yeah. All that I got, pieces and pages, talking a lot. Awesome, thanks so much. Um, so like I said, once again, my name is Jerome. Back in August of last year, um, I have been in the accounts payables software space for about four years. Um, I came previously, probably heard of it too. It's basically um, kind of the same thing we do. Basically, our competitors, basically. Um, so I was a while. Um, started out with our product support, uh, did technical support, I did inside sales, uh, I was a product manager. And now I came over to the customer success manager, what also known as an account manager as well, um, with them back in August. And I've um, been loving it here ever since. Uh, so I had to sneak, oh, I got 20 minutes to eat. I had to sneak and put this shirt on because um, my company has this, not company, but we have this rule of thumb here. It's like when our bank channel is online, we, we have to show our camera, so yeah. So that's why, like, I had to rush and put something on, but I'm about to, I, I ran downstairs, put on some chicken thighs that I got from Food because I am starving. Uh, put on some chicken thighs. I felt like they Carrots and broccoli. Piss me off. Like, I'm not pissing me off, but she asked. A dumb, it's not a dumb question, but it's just like, man, it's just like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, but I think I may put some montage of me talking on one of my calls, um, just giving y'all basically how I, how I talk on my calls. Yes, I talk completely different than I'm talking to y'all. I don't know why, but when I'm in customer success mode, in the, especially when the camera's on, Oh yeah, they get a different type of tone I'm talking, but I hope this video has been helpful. Like I said, it's just been another day in the life for a customer success manager. I just work from home. I am remote. My company is based in Boston and I'm in North Carolina. Um, I'm only required to travel to Boston once a quarter. If need be, we're skipping this quarter, so I ain't got to go. Uh, but I'm pretty sure next quarter, since it's going to be... So yeah, since it's gonna be summertime, they're definitely gonna want to um, want us to come out and you know socialize and stuff like that. I do like um, so when we come to the corporate office, we do like our quarterly business reviews. So it's basically whew, my first one was kind of stressful because even though I was new, I was like new new, and they was like, yeah, you've been working a portfolio, you still need to present. So basically, I had to compile all my accounts and I talk about my. My number one account, like the account that's doing extremely well, my book of business, like generated the most most revenue for me. And then I talk about my lowest account, like they said, that one the account is at the bottom of my book of business. And then talk about some action plans about how do I, what are my plans to turn this account around? What am I going to implement? And I do like, the thing I do like about those quarterly review business meetings in person is that I get to be amongst uh, my coworkers, so I get to take like tips and tricks, uh, tip, uh, tips and tricks from them that they incorporate when they start start to present like their accounts that are performing really well and what they're doing to turn those around. So that's another good thing I do like about my company is I've learned from like some of the vets because this is one girl at my company who is a beast. But yeah, so but I think that's gonna wrap it up this video. Didn't want to make this long. Just want to give y'all like a little another day. In a lot of a customer success manager, let you guys in on a little bit of the verbiage, I guess me talking on my calls, but um, it's now, it's now 3.46 p.m. I'm about to eat lunch, eat late lunch. I have a four o'clock meeting with my manager, 
and then that typically lasts about 15 minutes, but I feel like I'm gonna go over it. So it's gonna be a whole 30 minute call today because I have some stuff. Uh, one of my accounts, they want to, they want me to compile their contract versus their contract and their billing statement for the last three months. I've never had an account ask me to do that before, not with this company, so I need to figure out where is that accessible. Um, I feel like I may need to loop in the sales consultant that sold them the deal. Um, just to say like, hey, you know, what were the expectations on paper um, versus what we're actually billing them for. So, yeah, I need that. Like I said, just language like that. Like I said, I just need to, because I don't know how they do it at this company because I've never had someone ask me that. Um, typically, even my contract renewals, the sales consultant that sold them the deal kind of comes in involved in it. And I kind of have to do anything unless they're on the fence. And then when they're on the fence, then that's when we have to come with a game plan, maybe do an on-site visit. Stuff like that. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, if you want to see more of these custom, day in life and customer success manager video, um, definitely let, let me know in the comments below. Definitely don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like I said, we are 500 subscribers away for 10, from 10,000. So definitely, definitely, definitely let me know. Like the video, share it, comment, engage. So YouTube algorithm can pick this up. So YouTube will know that Jerron is back on his YouTube stuff. And that's going to be that on that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.